welcome back. In today's session, we'll be doing a minute and nine second breath holds using breath of fire and alkaline breathing. So get set, get comfortable, listen for the sound of my breaths, and let's begin. Breath of fire. Short, rapid exhales out the nose only. The belly coming in on each exhale. Get ready to double the speed. Breath of fire. Alkaline breathing. Fully in, letting it fall out the mouth. Good, conscious, connected breaths. Powerful inhales through the nose. Fast, alkaline breathing. Eliminate all distractions. Take a full breath in and hold. And we'll exhale right into our breath hold. <sighs> breath hold from now on. Surrender now to the moment, the oxygen still being transported, carrying with it a sense of peace and tranquility going to every cell in your body. Feeling your mind and your spirit connecting with the infinite peaceful energy. Get ready to take your recovery breath in. In three, two, one. Recovery breath in. And exhale. Just return now to your normal breathing. Get ready for the next round. Breath of fire. The belly coming in on each exhale. Get ready to double the speed. Breath of fire. Alkaline breathing. Connected breaths.
powerful inhales through the nose, fast, alkaline breathing. Take a full breath in and hold. And we'll exhale right into our breath hold. Breath hold from now on. Surrender now to the moment, the oxygen, still being transported, going to every cell in your body. spirit connecting. Get ready to take your recovery breath in. In three, two, one. Recovery breath in. And exhale. Just return now to your normal breathing. Get ready for the next round. Breath of fire. Short, rapid exhales out the nose only. The belly coming in on each exhale. Get ready to double the speed. Breath of fire. Alkaline breathing. Fully in, letting it fall out the mouth. Good, conscious, connected breaths. Powerful inhales through the nose. Fast, alkaline breathing. Eliminate all distractions. Take a full breath in and hold. And we'll exhale right into our breath hold. Breath hold from now on. Surrender now to the moment, the oxygen still being transported, carrying with it a sense of peace and tranquility going to every cell in your body.
feeling your mind and your spirit connecting with the infinite peaceful energy. Get ready to take your recovery breath in. In three, two, one. Recovery breath in. And exhale. Just return now to your normal breathing. Thank you so much for breathing with me today. I'll see you in the next session. And now for today's reading, the second book of the Tao. Verse 14. Prince Wenwei's cook, Ting, was cutting up an ox. Every touch of his hand, every ripple of his shoulders, every step of his feet, every thrust of his knees, every cut of his knife, was in perfect harmony, like the dance of the mulberry grove, like the colors of the lynx head music. Well done, said the prince. How did you gain such skill? Putting his knife down, Ting said, I follow the Tao, your highness, which goes beyond all skills. When I first began cutting up an oxen, all I could see was the ox. After three years, I had learned to look beyond the ox. Nowadays, I see with my whole being, not with my eyes. I sense the natural lines, and my knife slides through by itself, never touching a joint, much less a bone. A good cook changes knives once a year. He cuts. An ordinary cook changes knives once a month. He hacks. This knife of mine has lasted for 19 years. It has cut up thousands of oxen, but its blade is as sharp as if it were new. Between the joints, there are spaces. The blade has no thickness. Having no thickness, it slips right through. There's more than enough room for it. And when I come to a difficult part, I slow down. I focus my attention. I barely move. The knife finds its way until suddenly the flesh falls apart on its own. I stand there and let the joy of the work fill me. Then I wipe my blade clean and put it away. From the words of this cook, I have learned how to live my life. Commentary. In his rules for right livelihood, the Buddha prescribed trafficking in meat and in weapons, slaves, intoxicants, and poison. Clearly, he never imagined someone like Prince Wenwei's cook an artist of ox flesh, a saint of the bloody carcass. So much for rules. This just shows that nothing in life can be categorized or excluded. The whole world is our palette. Tang, it must be said, was a man of supreme integrity who trusted what is and needed no one's appreciation for it. For decades, he had been putting on his one-man show for an audience of zero. No one was watching. Not even he. The glorious harmony of motion and intention simply happened without him. How can we know the dancer from the dance? In the practice of butchery, he had learned how to step aside and let his body do the thinking. He followed the Tao into a world of unadulterated sensation, an Eden of the don't know mind. The vast universe with its myriad of kiliakisms within kiliakisms became a single knife blade gliding through empty space. What did it matter that his material were slaughtered oxen rather than sounds or colors or words? Nothing remained but the pure joy of the work. And let's not forget the admirable Wenhui. Instead of being caught up in princely pursuits like governing, hunting, or dallying with his concubines, there he was in the kitchen, taking exquisite notice of the lowly which turned out to contain the Supreme. When the student is ready, the teacher appears 